What's happening? This is one man crew, Anthony Sanders, behind the scenes video. I'm chilling here in the makeup trailer, the hair and makeup trailer with the lovely makeup artist, Heather. Hi. And she's gonna do my makeup because I really need it. Look at all these blemishes on my face. She's gonna make me look 20 years old again. Absolutely. <laughs> Movie magic. Absolutely. Basically, this is a process that every actor has to go through before being on camera. And other than that, it's just a lot of waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting all day. Waiting at the hotel, waiting in the trailer, waiting in people's cars. It's just waiting, waiting, waiting. But it's all worth it because it's all a collaborative effort to bring art to the screen. And every single person that works on these productions is a big part of these productions. It's like spokes on a wheel. If one spoke is broken, the wheel is broken. So everybody's working together to make magic. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of stuff over here. Got quite the collection. Nice. Are you gonna do something with this wig of mine? <laughs> I'm the hair girl will. That's nice. Like, I am the, the face and the skin. The face gotta, and the skin. I love it. I got a hair girl that'll spruce you up as well. Sounds dope. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. This is amazing. Gotta moisturize it first. I'm gonna let you guys see this whole process. <laughs> see how boring it is. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? It's a bunch of relaxation. Man. <laughs> like what we got going on here. Yeah. I actually had hyaluronic acid injections in my face. Have you? Yeah, Did you injection with that? Uh, oh yeah, this is in Korea when I was oh. uh, I was doing a show called uh, "Show Me the Money Six. It's like a really popular hip hop, uh, kind of like American Idol. Yeah, but it's, it's for hip hop. That's incredible. And this this uh, plastic surgeon, he's like, I want to help you out. So <laughs> he he invited me to his office and he gave me he like buffed my face out with stuff. Wow. Like, did it hurt? Oh yeah, it was a little painful, but but he's worth like it, huh? very worth it. Made me look hyaluronic like hyaluronic acid. It's gold, man. Oh yeah, at made me look that... at least five years younger for a right. few months at least. I know they injected it before. I'm gonna look into that. I have it in my moisturizers. I always use it. Nice. It's a nice product. It works. That's for sure. Checking out what she's got down there. <laughs> My face is your canvas. Absolutely. How did you get here? You mean in New Orleans? Uh, like today. Oh, today on set? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, probably around six. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I was taking an IQ test when you came up to me. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> How'd it go? <laughs> I don't know because I, I didn't, oh, you finish, didn't it. finish it. Is no. it timed? I don't think it was because it had ads in it. Thank God. Time tests are just unnecessarily rude. I yeah. took one and it was like, you got to pay $20 to see the results. Oh my God. And I was like, no Smart. thanks. Smart marketing, but also <laughs> rude. I think so too. Yeah. Oh, your speaker, you want to play some music? Yeah, you want to play music? I mean, you can't play while you're... While I'm making a video? Yeah. Play. Look at my speaker. You don't need much. That's the one touch. 
What kind of music you like? I like everything. I don't really rock with country, but I do love, I love all kinds of music. It depends on the mood. I really like, I like to listen to, like, what's it called? The, um, not instrumentals, but like orchestra or like the film scores. It's my favorite. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me like, too. Uh, I produce music. That's how I got oh. this gig. Very cool. I actually uh, produced uh, for Insane Clown Posse for like a year. No way! They only use like three of my beats, but... Who cares? That's a, a three is a fucking... That's a lot. Well, one of them they, they scrapped from the, the newest album they just released because I, I pissed off Violent J pretty bad. Oh no, what happened? Um, Basically, I just stood up for myself. And, huh? and Isn't I, that sad? It is, yeah. But, you know, it's okay. Yeah. No Everything happens deal. for an exact reason. Everything will put you right on your path where you need to be. I agree. I believe that wholeheartedly. And it's and even working with ICP is like the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. Because, uh, because yeah. So I have a bunch of beats left over from when I was working with them. And Nate. They're gonna be it, in the film, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I heard about <laughs> that. Oh my god! It's nice to meet you. You too. That's awesome. Thank you. I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be good good show man i can't wait yeah i can't wait to see it too it's we've been going ripping and running for i heard, I heard it's pretty funny straight days it's so good the characters like could they could not turn this way a little bit for me like that the characters could not have been like no other characters could have pulled this off scott and john are like just the perfect role choice for this nice that's wonderful. I'm honored to be a part of it. It's, Me too. This is like my third movie I've done. Yay! The, the first two, I didn't really have any speaking role, like a speaking part in it. Yeah. Uh, I was in a, a Japanese horror film oh. called, called Yoren Utawa Ichijin no Kazeni. <laughs> so wow. I, I mean, you could have said it any way, and I would have been like, <laughs> I would have said, okay. But it, uh, uh, Yoren Utawa Ichijin no Kazeni means um, song in the wind gust. And it's kind of like an anthology kind of style, like kind of tales from the dark side kind of thing, mm -hmm. where it's like, it tells different stories. And I played a character in that one. Uh, like a producer of like a play and like the director of the play was like seeing a ghost and where was it filmed it was filmed in tokyo oh that's why you oh my god how was tokyo it was awesome i lived Magical. there for quite quite a few years because i was wrestling out there professionally you know like wwe oh, stuff so cool thank you yeah it was it was awesome i love japan it was really cool and then the second film I did, it was for this director, uh, and he's an actor, his name's Ron Yuan, mm -hmm. and it was called um, Unspoken Diary of an Assassin. Oh. And we, it was in Hawaii, when I lived in Hawaii. Oh my god, you've lived some great places, man. I've been pretty fortunate. Yeah. And, uh, so the, but we filmed this scene where I was like in a fight scene with Ron, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, he, uh, I grab him from behind and like he stabs me in the leg with the knife and then he kicks me and then he shoots me and I had to keep falling down a bunch of times. Oh my god, yeah. And, and he's like, you sure you don't want any pads? I mean, we got pads for you. <laughs> you I was like, I'm a pro wrestler. I'm not a pussy. I yeah. can fall down a thousand times and it won't bother me. <laughs> And after we got done shooting, I was like really? limping off. Fuck. Like, <laughs> to, yeah. I'm grabbing it immediately. <laughs> I was like, wow, I need to do something about my pride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pride gave you a bad night's sleep mm. probably and a bad back for a little while the, the sad part is the movie never even came out no yeah i don't know why but it was like we filmed that like seven years ago eight seven That's or eight true. years ago well, open for me and look down oh. and out that way like look down with your eyes and look out that way Yeah, had some big stars attached to it too, like people from Hawaii Five O. Oh, cool! And Benton. That's so sad. Close. I actually worked as an extra on Hawaii Five O on an episode. How was it? It was pretty cool. Like, we stood around for just a couple hours and ate Close catering. Close both eyes and just relax your eyes. Don't touch. Okay. We just we just stood around and ate, ate food until they called us. Maybe. Right. The waiting game. <laughs> 
It's a waiting game. Absolutely. I love it though. Me too. I feel at home here. It's definitely it's not for everybody, but I feel a sense of belonging here. It's really it's nice. It's really good. I love it. Me too. Open for me. Do you want me to trim your brow hairs? That'd be dope. Yeah, I actually shave my own eyebrows, but I don't use an yeah. eyebrow razor. I use my actual razor that oh I shave my, my eyes. <laughs> oh, see. So, they, if you take one of these little spoolies and you push it down like that and mm -hmm. never cut, like, into the eyebrow, you get mm -hmm. these, like, small little scissors. You get them on mm -hmm. Amazon for, like, 15 bucks. I don't know. Push them down and then cut away from the eyebrow, like, right underneath. Nice. Every time I push them up. Nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a... Uh, fresh brails. I don't think I mentioned to the people watching that's going to watch this video. This is a movie called Off Ramp, directed by Nathan Tape. And it's going to be dope. So, if you're watching this, watch it when it comes out. <laughs> Damn, my skin looks good already. Yeah, thank you. I don't want my skin to look like this all the time. I might start wearing makeup. I mean, <laughs> just gotta figure out what all you used on me so I can buy it at Walmart. All right, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, down products. I'm sure you can find like a little replacement. It's fun. If you wanted to have a little spruced up, you know, just get Pop a little tinted moisturizer on there. <laughs> easy breezy. Hell yeah. Okay, friend. You're good to go. I'm going to spray you and then it's good. around for the hair how do you normally wear your hair i actually i'm so weird about my hair i always have it differently all the time either yeah. i shave it or it's real short or i bleach it blonde or just, yeah oh, like, how do you normally style it um like, normally because like i got like some bald stuff going up here i usually like just put the kind of when it's longer mm -hmm. i i like use gel and like try to create like some kind of like it up yeah, kind of makeshift sure, like. Cool. I like it. I'm, I'm gonna get Megan's gonna come and do hair. I don't have any of her hair products in here. I'm gonna text her. But yeah, you can go. Awesome. Whatever you want. All right. Bye. <laughs> Appreciate you, Heather. Thank you. Thank you for being in here. Being cool, man. Yeah, it's my Watch pleasure. All right. All right, guys, I'll hit you back when I get my hair done.